What's up guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. Today, this man is all about buttercream flowers. I'm excited about it because it's the first thing I learned when I started cake decorating. I'm gonna show you two modern versions of a buttercream flower on a champagne soaked berry cake. Let's get started. So I baked my vanilla cake in two oval cake pans, and I'm just gonna break those down. I'm gonna cut the tops off, and then we're gonna split them in half. Why would we go oval on this one? I decided to go oval just to switch it up. Why not? Something a little more interesting. By the way, if you guys want any of our recipes, you can get them by clicking the eye above, or you can get them in the description box below through the link. Now we got our cakes cut down, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it. So I normally don't soak my cake layers because they're very, very moist, but this time I wanna get a little flavor in there. So I got a little bit of simple syrup and I'm gonna add some champagne too. If you're feeding the little ones, might wanna leave the champagne out. Oh, that was it. That was not very dramatic at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna add about the same amount of champagne. Delicious. That one sip will cause me to have a hangover tomorrow, even if I don't drink for the rest of the night. That's what happens. Damn you, champagne. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give that a little toss. So I'm gonna fill this with my cream cheese frosting, and then I'm actually going to be adding berries in between the layers as well. Starting with our first layer, I'm going to add a little bit of our champagne syrup. Just let it soak in. Cake is very dense. We're gonna add some cream cheese frosting. Maybe not that much cream cheese frosting. There we go. Spread out to the edges. And then we'll put some berries. I've got some blueberries and some blackberries here. You can sprinkle them or place them, depending on how much time you have. Just wanna make sure there's equal berry placement. So what if you get a piece with no berries? It would be a very sad day. <laughs> oh, that's the corniest thing I've ever said in my entire life. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add some more of our syrup, a little more cream cheese frosting. This cake is actually getting pretty tall. I may only use three layers here. I'll save, save the other layer for cake pops or make a football cake for Brandon. I don't know why I picked you, but it's yours. Oh, Brandon's got his eighth birthday coming up. <laughs> Brandon's turning nine. He's just really good at what he does at a very young age. <laughs> and I think we're gonna finish with this layer because that looks pretty tall to me. Of course, some more syrup though. It's like spilling over the edge there. Drink up, girl. <laughs> All right, now that the cake is filled, we're gonna put her in the cooler, let her chill, and then we'll do a crumb coat. She's strong. All right, now it's time to crumb coat. I'm gonna do the final coat of buttercream in this light purple, so I'm gonna crumb coat it in the same color. So this is just my cream cheese frosting that I add a little bit of purple to and a little bit of pink to. The flowers are gonna be super bright, so I wanna make sure that this doesn't overshadow the color of the flowers. It's fine if you can see cake through, this is a crumb coat. All right, now we're gonna smooth the sides. Trap all the crumbs in, smooth the top. It's a nice berry color, right? Do you think of berries when you think of this color? Totally. Good answer. All right. Now that we got our crumb coat done, I'm gonna put her back in the cooler to chill and then we'll do the final coat. And then we give it a little bit of texture. Still drunk. So to start our buttercream flowers, I'm actually going to be making one with a center as a blackberry to just kind of update it a little bit. But not just any blackberry. We gotta add a little bit of gold to them. So I have a little bit of gold powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle over these, and we're gonna toss them. I know, right? They kind of like little golden pine cones, or little golden centers of flowers. So I've got tip number 127 here, which is this sort of uh, rose tip guy. So I'm going to use little pieces of paper so that I can save them, freeze them, and then handle them later to put them on the cake. So on my rose nail, I'm just gonna put a little bit of buttercream. I'm gonna stick my piece down. Actually, just mash it so it stays in place. Then we'll just add a little bit of buttercream here, like that. We'll grab one of our berries. And then I'm just gonna pretend like you're making a rose without the center. So we're just gonna be doing the petals. So with the fat part of the tip down on your rose nail and the thin part up, and I'm gonna spin this as I go. Come back halfway, another one. Come back halfway, come back halfway. like that. Don't worry too much about the bottom. It's gonna look a little bit rough. We're gonna pile all these together and then pipe leaves and you'll really just see the tops of the flowers. And you can go much bigger than this. I'm kind of gonna keep them a little bit smaller. But you definitely wanna make sure that it opens up enough to see that blackberry in there because that's the point. So I'll place that down on my little board to go in the freezer. All right, so the next flower we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna use some of the Russian tips. These things have been trending for the past six or seven months. 
Uh, and it seems like most people who are cake designers probably have a set of them. So I'm actually gonna use one of the flower tips. Oops. One of the flower tips as my center in a darker purple. And you can use any one, they all kind of look the same anyways. And then I'm gonna use one of the foliage tips, which is this guy who's supposed to be used to make leaves, to make kind of like uh, tulip petals. So same deal, a little bit of buttercream down. So then we'll do the same thing, push that guy down. So now that's adhered. And then I'm gonna use the flower tip and I'm actually gonna squeeze and pull up so I get a little bit of height. So that's how you normally just use the Russian tips. Just pipe, pipe, pipe like that. We're gonna make them a little bit bigger, take it to a different level. So I've got my foliage tip here, kind of looks like a little smile with a tongue. And I'm gonna just make petals and go up. And overlap them a little bit. Maybe one last one. So don't worry too much, like I said, about the outside. It's really just about this middle part. Put that guy down. So now I'm gonna finish making all of my flowers and then we'll come back and put the whole cake together. So I got my buttercream flowers, they're frozen and ready to go. I got my gold berries, I got my blueberries. I got a couple different colors of green for leaves and then a couple different colors for just filler flowers. So I'm just gonna start by piping some vines and then I'm gonna sort of place flowers, glue them down with buttercream. This is kind of one of those decorating techniques where you just kind of have to move things around and see what looks right, so I'm just gonna get to it. The majority of the flowers I'm gonna put on top and I'll do a small spray at the bottom. I'm filling some empty spots with greenery and giving a little highlight to each of the blueberries. Then I'm gonna add a few pops of color. So our cake's all finished. I just need to cover up our bottom edge here with a ribbon. I'm gonna use, of course, a glam ribbon. Use a little piping gel so that it will stick. And then we will just wrap that guy around. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Man About Cake. Please leave your comments below, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe because I will bring you a new cake each week. I seriously cannot stop decorating this thing. I got like one more spot right around here.